rabbits, feral cats, feral pigs, and big South American toads are among the risks to Australians. They are creatures that have infiltrated Australian crops and farms. Rabbits are one of Australia's most prevalent invasive species. Their reproductive rate is robust, with the capacity to give birth to four to eight cubs in a litter, and they may reproduce all year. They are capable of transmitting tularemia to humans. Even adults and children can be attacked by a wild rabbit. Thus, Australians devised net traps that are placed all over the edges of rabbit burrows. They sat there and watched the rabbits' movements. Trapping rabbits in this manner also drastically lowers their population. They were not only employed for trapping, but also for hunting and dealing with rabbits. Hounds are quick-thinking and intellectual animals. This man used a detector to locate bunnies and direct his dogs. They promptly tracked down the wild animal and pursued it. In the 1920s, there were an estimated 100 million wild rabbits in Australia. This figure has now been reduced to roughly 20 million, yet it is still large enough to have a considerable detrimental impact. To contribute to dealing with wild rabbits, Hunting methods also account for 55% of the number of rabbits caught. These are hunters looking for rabbits. They are very good and have many skills in their hunting. Each time he took down one rabbit. So how do wild animals help reduce rabbit populations? Rabbits are the favorite food of many wild animals. This mongoose is chasing and attacking the rabbit. This group of hyenas caught a rabbit and shared it as their lunch. These feral cats transmit rabies to humans with just one bite. The man was treated badly and could not survive. They have a high reproductive rate, with the ability to produce two to four litters per year, each containing two six offspring. These large trees will be their hiding places. To prevent the growth of feral cat populations, Australian farmers have used traps to catch feral cats. These traps are quite simple and can catch large numbers of cats. Let's see how these traps work. According to estimates, there are about 6 million feral cats in Australia. They are the only native mammal species at risk of extinction due to the impact of feral cats. There are many ways to prevent it, typically by hunting. Cats are famous for their agility and intelligence. Hunting also requires people with many years of experience in the profession. To hunt cats, you need to wait and not move much. They are very sensitive to sounds and human activities. They will attack if they detect you.
As for wild pigs, you are probably no stranger to this animal. They often destroy agricultural fields during the harvest season. Causes huge damage. Hunters have been using hunting methods as their main method. In the fields, wild boars lurk among the trees. They are following their pack of hunting dogs towards the wild boar. Hunting went very smoothly. According to estimates, there are about 2 million feral pigs in Australia. They cause damage to crops, destroy the environment, and spread diseases. In addition to the fields, we will watch the hunters in the mountainous areas. These are standard shots that everyone admires and wants to learn. The wild boars were all reduced to anger before this man's shot. This man's speed and vision are very fast and professional. If there was a wild boar hunt, he would probably win first prize. How do you feel about the way he hunts? Please comment below in the comments section to let us know. The South American giant toad, another invasive species, has a tremendous reproductive rate, laying 3,000 to 4,000 eggs per clutch. This poses a major threat to Australia's native ecosystems. This species contains a type of poison that can endanger the lives of humans and surrounding animals. The poison is in the glands under their skin. Even their ovaries are poisonous when they are born. Their poison can paralyze a large crocodile. Black snakes and rats are also attacked by their venom. South American giant toads were introduced to Australia in 1935, and today there are an estimated 200 million of them. This creates great pressure on native animals. In contrast to other animals, this toad will be dealt with by propagating the dangers of this toad to the people. In addition, experts will capture toads and their eggs to prevent the development of this species. This is not an easy task at all, requiring high skills in handling toads. The threat from invasive species not only affects Australia, but also the balance of the global ecosystem. Do you know any other methods to prevent the growth of these invasive populations? Please comment down below to let us know. Now we will take you to experience a new land. Let's go.